Now for the very last bearing, again we have the screw, bearing, this very thin washer, medium washer, and then the large one. And in this one we're going to go in this direction. This will be against the board on the y-axis. The large, medium, and the very thin washer. This is a correction for a step that was made. Put bracket in this orientation and also put the anti-backlash nut on the very top of that and then put the, the nuts on the bottom. Now we're going to add the, the anti-backlash nut. We're going to add these two angles and then attach the nut. So we're going to use these one inch screws with a washer, a, washer, a small washer. Leave it somewhat loose so we can put the, the anti-backlash nut on with the same screws, two inch. To add the nut, you don't need washers for this. And we'll tighten these. Now we're gonna add the ZY plate to the rail. You need to get the grooves on the, the rails. Alright, to get rid of this shaking, we need to loosen up the bottom rail, lower this bottom rail. So we need to undo these, loosen these a little bit. Okay, now you can lower the bottom rail. You may need a screwdriver down. So get it on this side. And do the other side. And now you can tighten up all of them. Once you tighten this up, you won't have any play. Now we're going to attach a piece that mounts the motor on the back. This is the Y axis. The motor will be back here. This is the, the circular piece of the motor that fits into this area. The NEMA 23s have this little um, indentation. So the first thing to do is get these longer ones. These are the 3 inch, 3 eighths screws. Put them through these holes. It will be really tight. Very tight. This one will be really close to the rail. We'll find the last one. Okay, now we're going to put on four nuts. And we're putting on these nuts so the screws will stay in place. We're going to be putting on two more nuts per, um, per screw. Help, I'll know the one in here. Okay, so that's good. We really don't know how far back this needs to be on because this is going to be adjusted. Um, first, we're going to tighten these down. This part will take a little bit of finessing. It's going to be a little bit tough to get on there. To make it easier to get on, undo these. Then screw it on little by little. Now we need four more nuts put on the outside and then we'll notice if it's even. So put four nuts and just to make sure it's it's correct, I'll just use the nuts as a as a way to determine that I have it on there even. Need a wrench to do the tightening of these. What I had to do was, was I had to tighten this one from the outside and this one from the outside. And then what I did is I just adjusted these so they're the same um, distance and I tighten these from the inside. We're going to take the Z-axis assembly that we did and we're going to Mommy. add rails to it. Ah. And we'll use one inch screws and cross out. Now 
Now we're going to put it on the Z-axis plate, Z-Y axis plate. And now we're going to tighten this, try to push it up as far as you can. Push this one down as far as you can. Now we're ready to put in the lead screw. First put in the half inch bearing in this slot. And then you'll put another half inch bearing underneath. Take the lead screw, add a one half inch collar. And now add the half inch coupling. You're going to slide it down until it becomes flat against the coupling edge. And then you can start. You want to tighten it down really tight. Keep it stable. You want to put the coupling right against the bearing. And we're going to tighten up the collar. Try to squeeze this down as much as possible. Push the collar up while you're pushing down on the coupling. And then tighten down the collar. Now you can turn the lead screw until it goes into the lead nut. When you first use the lead nut, it'll be really hard, really tough to get through. We're now going to attach the motor mount for the Z-axis. Notice the orientation. This is the only orientation that will work um, since the holes here, these four holes, correspond to these four holes. And so the first thing to do is put in your three and a half inch screws. Raise this up so you can have more clearance. Add nuts. Add the spider to the coupling and then add the quarter inch or three eighths inch coupling depending on the motor you have, the shaft. Could also be 5 16 inch diameter. Now we're going to be putting on these two pieces. You'll see that there's a long one and a short one. We're going to put the short one on this side where there is this is this part is flat and it's going to go. This overhang here is going to um, it's going to face the the front of the machine. And on the other side where there's a hump, we're going to put the longer one at that side. Use one and a half inch screws and the cross dowels. Now we're going to put on the side supports. You'll notice that the holes here are very close to the gantry. On the other side of the on the other side on the other gantry are farther apart. So in this case, we're going to use the um, the side support that has the holes that are close to this edge. On the other one, we'll use the the gantry support that have the, have the holes away from the edge. Use a three inch for the top, another three inch for the one that's just below that, and then two 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 inch for the bottom, and then use standard nuts to fasten them in place. Tighten those down, and then we're going to put the one and a half inch screws in the in the ends here, in the inside of the gantry side, and the cross dowels in these locations. The other side, same process, three inch on the top, and two two inches on the bottom. And then with the same process, put the one and a half inch screws on the inside of the gantry side, side edge. 